Well, a week after Christie sold its first 3D collage to an investor paid for entirely in crypto, uh, rival Sotheby's is entering the fray with an auction by an anonymous digital artist. The new marketplace for NFTs exploding in popularity. Matt King shows us why the works are all the rage and how they get their value. Like any new capability for the next two years at least, we'll see some crazy stuff. Spice Venture Capital founder and managing partner Tal Eliashiv invests in companies building out the blockchain ecosystem. He joined us Wednesday to help us understand how our free market has managed to ascribe often soaring values to an explosion of NFTs. That's a very interesting one. That seem to pose as many questions about economics as philosophy. Like what is ownership? First, an NFT or non-fungible token is some unit of data on some digital ledger representing a unique, not necessarily digital item. One can't neatly interchange with something else. My painting and your Ferrari are not the same. In recent weeks and months, we've seen NFTs in the form of JPEGs, GIFs, and MP4s of digital works of art, notable or not notable tweets, video clips of basketball games, and digital pieces of fashion one can use to dress a video game character. One of the issues with unique items is that at the end of the day, there is no comparison in the market. So the so-called value of one of these items depends on what the NFT represents to its most recent buyer. Twitter founder Jack Dorsey's first very stale and always public tweet, for example, fetched two and a half million dollars. Which means nothing, because you cannot do anything with it. But for someone, the experience of owning it was worth 2.5 mil. Whether they purchased it as a speculative asset they hope to flip for more, we don't know. Elias Sheev encourages skeptics seeing an NFT marketplace that quadrupled in size last year as a digital version of Tulip Mania to separate the hype from the real value of all that an NFT's self-executing code can include. All certificates of authenticity of this item. NFTs can provide a secure list of every previous owner and every previous sale, smoothing out many issues of veracity that come with buying or selling pieces of art, music, collectibles, digital assets and video games, real estate, racehorses, classic cars, and any number of other unique items whose value derives from how we appraise the experience of owning them. It's a real use case for blockchain technology. I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News. Cool looking singer, so.